Hi guys, welcome to the channel. Uh, today we are going to make a list for you of seven things you should do in the base season. Because this is such an important list, we put on our fanciest clothes today for you because it's a very formal occasion. Oh. Ah. Mmm. That's it, I'm not going. So the first one on the list is to form good habits early on. So a couple of good habits to start practicing now um, is when you're like at practice and the coach is giving you feedback is to actually like be present and not just ready to respond, actually listen to them and take it in. Another good thing is to kind of stretch after practice, try to stretch uh, before you go to bed. Um, just kind of get into that routine of like trying to take care of your body. Another good one is to like try to get to bed a little bit earlier or focus on sleeping. Um, so when it comes to your season, then you can actually not even think about those things and it's just kind of second nature to you and then you're kind of ahead of the curve before other people are even thinking about that stuff. Good habits, form them now. Number two, um, establish your goals for the season ahead. So something that I always do before um, my base season starts is I meet with my coaches and kind of discuss how the year went and plan for the upcoming season. So I already know the benchmarks that I want to be hitting throughout the year in terms of my performances. Um, so right off the bat I know what I'm working towards. So something else that I do is I actually write these goals down and put them in a spot where I can see them every day so that I'm constantly being reminded of, again, what I'm working towards. And it's also just nice to keep those numbers kind of in the back of your mind um, for those workouts, especially during the base season that are really, really tough and you can remember, okay, right, I need to put in this hard work if I want to run a 765.60, for example. Okay, so number three is to be willing to hurt now. Um, so when we say that, we just mean be willing to put in the work now. Everybody knows base season is hard and the workouts are just a lot harder and longer than you would in kind of the competition season. Um, so it's a really good time to make a really strong foundation just because you don't want to be putting in really, really hard workouts and then also wanting to peak at a certain time. So be willing to put in the work now to set up the competition season. So with that being said, in terms of working really hard right now, number four is knowing your limits. So something that we need to be mindful of as athletes is that more um, isn't necessarily better and every individual athlete is unique in terms of what works for them. In the past, I've always tended to get a little carried away um, in the base season, especially throughout university, I would always push my coaches to let me do the long sprinter workouts and run the 300s instead of run, running the, the 100s with the jumpers. Um, but just because I was capable of doing those longer workouts and I had that endurance didn't necessarily mean that's what was right for me as a jumper. Um, and to be honest, the second I actually started accepting doing the jumper workouts and listening to my coaches. But first, a deep sip from a very tall glass of I told you so. Mm. 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 Oh my god, please, Dad, come on! That's when things really improve for me from a, from a performance standpoint. So yeah, as we said with number three, you want to work really hard this time of year, you want to push yourself, you want to feel that pain, but at the same time, you need to be aware of your limits, especially if something's sore, this isn't the time that you want to get an injury, so if you need to take a step back, you need to be willing to do that. First, take a big step back, and literally okay so number five is to work on your weaknesses so this is a good time to put in the work on those areas that you found that you're struggling in the last competition season for myself uh, that's kind of working on my like mobility so I focus on mobility um, when I'm not at the track or in the park doing a workout so at home I try to do a lot more stretching and just kind of work on that range of motion and then another thing that I try to work on is my endurance because uh, I do struggle in some of those endurance workouts and events so I really try to push myself during those harder workouts and longer runs. Number six is focus on nutrition but don't be too strict. Just like with everything else we've talked about, this is a really good time of year to establish 
nutrition habits. So for example, for me, um, now that I'm back training, I'm not gonna let myself drink pop throughout the week. I'm gonna try to keep it only on the weekends. Or if we're gonna get pizza, it needs to be a Saturday, that type of thing. But at the same time, we are human. Um, if track athletes try to be as strict with their diets all year round as they are in um, May, June, July, then that simply wouldn't be healthy. So if it's a Wednesday and you feel like going to get frozen yogurt and it's the base season, go for it. So last but not least, number seven is focus on recovery. Workouts are a lot longer and harder than you would have in the competition season. Um, so just because you don't have to compete on the weekends doesn't mean you shouldn't try to recover as best you can. You're gonna be sore during the base season. Um, and if you're not, then you're not running hard enough. So this is the time of year that your body gets broken down and that's the time that it starts to build up and you get that fitness level. Um, so you should be like rolling out. You, If you have a physiotherapist, trying to see them like once a week and just basically trying to do as much as you can to be as recovered as you can for the next workout, even though you don't have to be competing on the weekends. Thanks for watching. Seven things to do in the base season. Hope you enjoyed it. If you have any of your own tricks up your sleeve, feel free to let us know. Comment below. And subscribe. We still don't know what way it is. This one. Subscribe, click the logo that I designed. Thanks. And have a great day. Bye. Bye. To get you to a level of fitness to set. So what I also do is it's like too compressed that we can't like fit in here. I don't know. Maybe we can just go closer. Hey guys. Hi. Hi guys. Hey! Oh my god. No, I'm actually done. <laughs> no.